Hello there, my name's uh, Scott. Uh, today I'm very pleased to be able to tell you that I'm going to be doing a review on the new Black Evolution cigarette. Now some of you may be thinking, uh, these aren't actually for sale yet, so how the hell did I get hold of one? Well, I'm going to be honest, and I was sent this about, probably about two weeks ago now, and I was asked to sort of do a test on it, and if I liked it at the end of the, uh, the test, I could, uh, with their permission, do a review on it, so that's what I'm doing today. Uh, I don't work for them, I've just been giving it to test, okay? Um, so I'm going to just show you it, uh, first of all, compared to the old uh, Evolution. This is my original one, uh, which I absolutely love, and it's still going great after sort of a couple of months' use. As you can see, this is with the older style battery, which is slightly longer. Compared to the other one, this is the new, I think they call it the Mighty Atom battery. Um, just a smaller battery, basically. And as you can see, it's a little bit shorter there. If I compare it next to a normal cigarette, then you can see it's just a little bit longer than a regular cigarette, but it's pretty much the same width there. Uh, now, uh, when I got this, uh, I didn't actually get I think when it goes on sale, they're going to be selling a completely different package to what I got. Like I said, I just got this for the purposes of a, uh, to do a review. Uh, when I got it, I did uh, get the box that it comes in like that. Um, I can only imagine they'll send it out in the same sort of box. Um, again, I got my little... Uh, uh, evolution instruction manual and product information guide um, and I got some of the uh, regular medium strength uh, cartridges which uh, all come in these sort of like blue wrappers and they've all got an expiry date on them as well which is uh, quite a nice touch uh, so I think obviously most of you want to know first of all what does it uh, vape like so I'll stick a new uh, cartridge on there As you can see, with a uh, brand new cartridge, it votes really nicely. Uh, obviously, the batteries are a bit shorter than what they are in the older uh, Evolution. Again, the old Evo um, was really re uh, well known for its sort of long battery life. Obviously, these are short battery now, so the batteries don't last as long. I've still been getting about sort of five to six hours use out of it. And that's not with me sort of vaping it continuously. You know, like I just treat it as a cigarette. So when I want a cigarette, I'll go and vape this for you know a couple of minutes, put it down, and when I next want a cigarette, then I'll vape this instead. And so I'd say that I'm a moderate user, and about five to six hours, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. Uh, charging times on these, um, I've got a mains charger as well as a USB charger. On a mains charger, it takes about sort of two hours to charge it up. On a USB charger, it takes about fifteen minutes. Um, I'm not too sure how it manages to charge it up so quickly, but it definitely does give it a full charge and uh, you still get the five to six hours use out of it. So that's great, so if you do run out, if you've only got the one battery, you put a USB charge on, 15 minutes later you can start vaping again, so you haven't got to worry about going without it. Um, the first thing I noticed uh, when I got this out of the box, apart from obviously being very happy to, to see the new Black Evo, I just thought it looks absolutely wicked. I really like the look of it. It's got a lovely finish to it. It's like... Um, it's not a matte finish, it's not a gloss finish, I'd say it's more of a satin finish. And I've got a, a DSC901, uh, which again is a nice looking one. Uh, but the finish on it is gloss, and as you're holding it, it tends to get covered in finger marks. On this one here, you can put your fingers all over it, and there's absolutely no problems whatsoever. You know, it feels great, it looks great. The weight of it in your hand is really nice. And also, I like the fact that they've changed the colour of, the, uh, of the connectors as well. On the old one, it was a gold one. Uh, on the battery and the atomizer. On this one, it's like a silver one, so it gives you like a little silver um, sort of stripe going around it, and it just adds to it. It does have the words um, www.intellisig.com written along the battery there, and also across the, uh, you're not going to be able to see it, but across the uh, the atomizer there, it just has Intellisig. Um, I know some people don't like to have things written on them, but I've, it doesn't stick out at all. I'd very much doubt if you can even pick it up, or get it even closer. Um, it's a very light grey colour letters, and you know, it doesn't notice at all. Um, uh, no, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Uh, with the atomizer, it's actually got a different atomizer now, that's what the old ones did. Um, the old atomizer I've got my Evo was a two hole atomizer. This has now got four holes. 
I can't honestly say I've noticed a great deal between the two hole and the four hole. I know it's meant to give you an easier draw, but I never had a problem with the draw on my original Evo, so I can't really sort of say, yes, I'm blown away by the difference there. Um, also, the atomizer now, it's still got the same sort of similar size. Um, I'll just look at it. Still got a very like the same size, actually looks a little bit wider actually, the actual uh, the wick on it. But also now on the atomizer, rather than it go, you're not gonna be able to see, unfortunately I'm recording on a mobile phone, so you're not gonna see much detail. But um no. Um but rather than the column going straight up, on these ones now it goes tapered, so it's almost like that, rather than being like that. Uh, again, I don't know what difference that's gonna make to the actual uh, uh sort of use of the cigarette or not or if it's just a design touch or, or something, but it's definitely a difference between the two. Now, the good thing about it, though, is that also these are interchangeable. Even though it's a different atomizer, they, you can still use a black atomizer on the white Evo. Um, I'm just going to show you what I mean by that, but I'm going to use my uh, the other Evo I have with a, a, a white version of the uh, Mini Atom battery. So you can unscrew that. Unscrew that. And then you can have the uh, uh, the, uh, the white battery with the black tip. It looks quite nice in the black um, uh, atomizer. You can have a monochrome effect. So you can have the uh, the black cartridge, you can have the, uh, the white uh, atomizer and the black battery. Okay, I had to quickly pop downstairs there because I thought my uh, little girl had just woken up. Um, but I'm back now. Uh, I've put to, uh, the Evo together again with the black cartridge, the black atomizer, and the black battery. Uh, I'm just going to show what the vapor is like on it again. And then you see it produces lots of vapour, uh, it's very sort of cigarette like. Um, the taste of them is quite, quite nice as well, uh, these, as I said they come with the uh, regular tobacco flavour cartridges. I'm not normally a great lover of the uh, tobacco flavour but as they go you know they're, they're quite nice. Um, I don't know if it's going to come with the option of a menthol cart, but if it does then I'd probably recommend the menthol more than the uh, tobacco flavoured ones. That's just me personally, I, I much prefer the taste of the menthol carts that uh, Intellisig do. Um, but the atomizer as well, um, it's the same as on the old Evo, it does have that five second uh, cut off which some people like, some people absolutely hate, which means that basically if you take a, lot, uh, a five second long drag, then uh, the atomizer basically tells you, look, you need to slow down, uh, that's too long, and you could be doing it damage. So then it has a lot of cooling off period between uh, like one minute to two minutes before you can start doing it again. But I very, very rarely need to take a drag that long to really get a really good sort of like lung full of vapor or, or a decent throw hit out of it. You can pretty much treat it as a normal cigarette. You don't need to worry about doing a like a primer puff, which is like a quick puff to just to get the atomizer heated up before you take your your proper drag. You can just treat it as a normal cigarette. Lovely. Um, when it comes to giving this a uh, a mark out of ten. I mean, like if I was going to judge it by looks alone. Then it would be an 11. I think it absolutely, I think it's the best looking electronic cigarette I've ever seen. I know you say at the end of the day it's the same as the, uh, as the other one. Maybe I'll just put it together. But just in black. But for some reason it just, it just looks so much nicer. Well, like this one obviously does look like a very real, realistic sort of looking cigarette type uh, electronic cigarette. Um, but this one it just, I don't know, it's almost like a bit classy, I suppose. I feel quite sort of sad saying this about an electronic cigarette, but it's definitely very stylish compared to uh, just like the, the regular one, I suppose. So if I was, like, so if I was going to judge it on looks, then like, uh, it'd be above a 10. But if I'm going to judge it on performance, then uh, I think on my last review for the original Evo, I gave that a 9 out of 10. And I would like to give this another 9 out of 10, but I'm not going to. I'm going to have to give it an 8 out of 10, simply because the only thing that lets it down is obviously... Uh, it's not his fault because obviously it is a short battery. It's got a shorter battery life. 
And um, I didn't have that instant wow factor with the uh, with the throw hit when I first tried it. And I think that's what really sold me on the original Evo. So like, if, you, if you do buy one of these, it's an excellent product. It looks fantastic. And um, just bear with it for a day or two, and then you'll really get the full benefits and the full advantages of it. So, um, you know, if you're going to buy one, IntelliSig.com, uh, the official UK site. Speak to John there. He's the man, and uh, he'll be able to sort you out. Hope you enjoyed the uh, review, and uh, happy vaping. Yeah.